This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is June 18th, 2021. It's Friday. Next week at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, we begin our summer schedule. And in that light, I want to highlight an announcement that's going out in our e-blast today. The task force on reentry met on Wednesday night to talk about how our reentry into our building is going and what the next steps are for the summer season. And we decided at that meeting to make the following changes for the summer. These, all of these changes are effective on Monday. First, starting on Monday, that's June 21st, masks will be optional for vaccinated congregants in the sanctuary, at small group meetings, outdoors, and at Unitarian Church of Lincoln sponsored events. Masks are highly encouraged for those not yet vaccinated, although we will probably not be asking vaccine status as you walk in. Also, we are going to uh, stop asking for advanced registration for attendance at worship services or other events. We will still try to informally um, track who's in the building when, so that if we do need to co do contract tracing, we can do that. But we're gonna step back from the more formal way that we've been doing that over the last month. We're also going to um, no longer require a six foot distance in this building. There are a couple measures that are going to stay in place. We're going to continue to require masks while in the Sunday school wing. Um, as you come in to the right where all the classrooms are, regardless of your vaccination status. Because we know that at the moment, um, nobody under the age of 12 has been vaccinated. And so because part of our commitment to each other as a faith community is care for the most vulnerable, we do need to make sure that we are doing everything we can uh, to keep our children safe. Similarly, because it's located in the Sunday school wing, the water fountain will be closed on Sunday mornings. We're going to start providing paper cups in the bathrooms and kitchens, however, um, if you don't have your own reusable container. We realize that it is <laughs> over a hundred regularly during this part of the year, so we do want water available, just not in that particular wing of the building. We're not going to serve coffee or food on Sunday over the summer. And consistent with UUA guidance, um, we are not yet going to sing congregational hymns together. That will likely wait until the fall. And we're going to ask that you please continue, um, and you've been doing great on this, um, practicing active consent. So asking each other before hugging or shaking hands, using the little stickers that we've been putting on our name tags, all the little things that allow each person to make their own decision about how they want to engage and how. Again, all of this is effective on Monday. So if you're coming to church on Sunday, please keep your masks on as we celebrate the intergenerational flower service to mark the end of our congregational year. Speaking of endings, this is the 317th video, daily video update since March 16th of 2020. We started these along with daily emails to our members on an emergency ad hoc basis that first week to make sure that the congregation was informed during a fast moving, unpredictable pandemic. If you can cast your mind back that far, this was in the same, uh, the same season where we were being told um, to, to uh, make sure we had a two week supply of food at home uh, so that we could ride out the pandemic. So it really um, was intended to be that, that kind of two week to three week um, update system. Now, we are not done with the pandemic. There is still a lot to do and we are gonna work hard to make sure that we end this in good order, uh, continuing to make sure that our congregation is safe. But as we talked about with the reentry stuff, 
our relationship to the pandemic is changing. So at the church, we're going to take a breath over the next 10 weeks or so. And part of that will be stepping back to two updates per week on Tuesdays and Fridays. The video pieces, these pieces will likely remain this odd combination of announcements, video, blog, and reflection time. They just won't be every day. 317, my goodness. Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating in this ongoing experiment that is online congregational life. And I will see you in this format next Tuesday. Have a good weekend. Oh, if you're watching this and it's still Friday the 18th, I'm going to be at um, Standing Bear Park uh, down on Van Dorn and Park Street um, at about seven o'clock tonight. We've rented a, a softball field and I'm going to be there and Ailish is going to be there with a with a t-ball set and whoever wants to come out we're gonna have a good time it's uh, uh, it's supposed to cool off a little bit for Nebraska so it's only supposed to be like 90 by then um, but if you're free tonight come out we'd love to see you in person um, we'll have a good time if not I'll see you on Sunday or on Tuesday here <laughs>